Marshall, the fight is now underway on one side. And just misses with that big right hand. Misses again with a right punch. Straight punch lands. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right hand upstairs. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And they separate. Oh, nice right hand. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch land. Ooh. Right on the button. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Derek Brunson. Big knee land right through the corner's midsection. Nice leg kick. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh! Left hook, right hand. gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. That's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, killer jab there from Jared Cannonier. Amazing to think where he would have been had he gotten an earlier start in MMA. He's only been at this for a few years and obviously has realized incredible results. It's scary, right? It's scary. It's scary to think who this guy would be if he started doing this early. But you live in the here and now, right? And Jared Cannonier is taking full advantage of every opportunity that he's given. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is here. Both fighters ready to go. Jared Kennedy versus the North Carolina native, Derek Brunson. Oh! oh and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land you right on the spot. Oh, he might be out. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So 64 total strikes have landed for Derek Brunson. Striking it. Punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. Oh, a huge strike lands there. 
player, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Brunson. He lands a switch to Brunson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Nice punch there by Cannoneer. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Ooh, blocks the shot. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Clean with the right hook. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, huge right hand! Now he's on top of him, looking for a finish. Ten seconds to go in the round. Well, he's got his back now. What a fight so far! All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.